Welcome back to Pirates Ahoy! <laughs> it does sound like a drunken sea journey now, doesn't it? Uh, so let's leave these men of low moral fibre. And um, head back into the cave. So, what's our job? Find, find a replacement for your blackjack on the pirate ship. See, I completely missed that. And find more information about the treasure. So we do need to get back to the ship. But more information about the treasure should be here in Hunt's residence, I think. Uh, which, I was looking for a house. And I have a feeling his, his residence is just the caves that they're all hanging out in. Which way is that here? I think it's this way. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't, rob you of your organs, tapper boy. I didn't think you were going to turn around right there. Grin while you can. <laughs> well, he's running away. That's all I needed. Oh, wait, 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 what? Hang on. This is the wrong way for me to be coming. Uh, okay, I shouldn't have followed him this way. I, should, I was already at the right end of his patrol route. Dang. Right, so I guess I should have gone... Hello, what's this? Up here? Maybe I should... Oh, yeah, maybe I should come up here. Probably with the way he's gone. Yeah, yeah, this is the way he came. Oh, well, he's alerted people up here. That's good news for me. Should be safe up here, I think. He's already kind of running, going back to his patrol. Okay. So somewhere in here, we've got to find, we've got to have information about Captain Hunt, right? Maybe he's got a room, a room, a cave, a chamber, perhaps, of his own that I haven't found yet. Well, what's the way I came in? Let's head down this hallway again some more. Other pirates. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't the hallway. That's a long hallway. It was just stores then. I don't think there was any. Uh... Hammocks. Okay, well, this is not great. Guys, I didn't come here to kill you. You better just keep watching your back. Oh well, this is a dead end, isn't it? You've made enemies tap. Oh, maybe Count this maybe this is where I need to be. Okay. I have not been in here, and I don't know why I haven't been in here, but I need an escape route now. Just because of the silly rock that made me clunk when stepping off it. Well, I know I can escape down here. I can jump over the water. Hey guys. Oh, 
Everyone's after me. All fun and games until somebody loses an eye patch. Who do you all wear? Animating in sync. You know what, actually? Now, oh. then I got three of them. How about you? Do you want to run away? Guards, over here. Guards, over here. Oh, he's willing to run. The others are not. <laughs> and I guess I could have spent another gas hour on him, but. Bardosa. They've got names. Jones. I do like it when uh, Walters gives the characters names. Chow. Guess that's their cook. Okay. Do I have anything for healing? I don't think so. I think I've eaten all my bananas. Yeah. So this guy's gonna have to run back up the tunnel. I think. That's okay. So glad, very glad I remembered I had gas hours. I thought I was just going to have to sit there and wait for them all to calm down, but no. Well, the one gas arrow. But that was the moment to use it, even if it didn't quite get as many of them as I wanted it to. So he's going to run it off somewhere. Wasted a water arrow on. Okay, well. I haven't been here, right? There's, there's loot. Just evidence enough. Books. What am I supposed to do with that? See, why did I have to have a daughter when I could have used a son so much more? Susanna doesn't want to behave herself. She fights in the pub, gets drunk, she doesn't want to wear a dress, and wants to go capturing ships instead. That's the last thing I need. That would be our downfall. As soon as the boys see her, they have eyes only for her, and even when half sober, stumble over their own feet. She has turned everyone's head. She needs to needs to be sent away as soon as possible, far away, before she drives me mad. I have enough money so I can afford it. I'll send her to one of those obscenely expensive boarding schools where the teacher can argue with her and get the thoughts of being a pirate out of her head. I will fetch her home only when she can behave herself. In the meantime, I will find her a husband who can later be my successor. It will be difficult to find somebody able to deal with Susanna, but I need an heir. I can't bear to think that my dark sparrow might have my daughter as a captain. That would be laughable. I am so sick of being called a crackpot and accused of chasing a phantom. I too once thought that these stories were nonsense. My father told me everything about Captain Bloodraven, his ship the Black Raven, and the legendary treasure. When I saw him for the last time, he was on his way to search for the wreck of the Black Raven. Everybody thought that he was crazy and he never came back. I don't know what happened to him or his crew, but the treasure exists, I'm sure of it. I found reports of brutal naval battles between the military and Captain Bloodraven. I even know the areas where he preferred to capture ships. The legend said his ship, the Black Raven, went aground on a reef in front of a cursed island. There is supposed to be a stone on that ship that can open the treasure cave. Without this stone, even the treasure map is worthless. Therefore, we will start for the cursed island in a few days. I've heard all the stories that have been told about this island, how nobody who lands there ever comes back. Many have searched for the wreck of the Black Raven. Not just my father, but I'm not scared of snakes or whatever else is awaiting us there. I will find the wreck and get the stone. In the meantime, that big-headed, snotty-nosed little upstart will hopefully be able to talk the bookseller into giving away the treasure map, and then we can get Captain Bloodraven's treasure. Naturally, I'm not really going to share the beauty with this lord. How naive is he? I will bury him in the treasure cave. Ha! Huh. Captain Bloodraven was one of the most brutal and cunning pirates who ever exist in this area. I will find his treasure, and then I will succeed him. Nobody will ever joke about Captain Hunt and the Dark Sparrow. I'll be the terror of the seven seas and the richest pirate who ever existed. That is what he used to find a long time ago. Okay, it looks like you'll first have to find this ghost ship to get the key. When you're done here, search for a sailboat so you can begin your quest. Oh. I think that's our friend returning to... passage. I'm hearing a second one, but I think that's the guy who patrols in and out at the left of the other side there. Oh, that's him. Okay. 
That's fine, just ordinary patrols. Well, I checked for anything else I might have missed here. Like uh, another piece of eight. Do I have a loot gold? Well, what's this? With papyrus? These superstitious fools, they don't dare to go into the flooded cave because there's something evil inside. Huh, such idiots. But it suits me because I, the fearless Captain Hunt, dared to enter the cave and there I found a really safe hiding place for my booty. These simpletons really believe that the treasure will be shared out equally. <laughs> Do I look like I would share anything? Or be fair, Captain Hunt. Alright, so that's a clue to the treasure that I already found. So it's not really helpful for me. Doesn't look like there's anything else on the table. Oh, you the balloons there. Right, unfortunately, I I know where I can get a sailing craft. But um, the raft, right? All right, you asked for it. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. How do I get back to the ship? Okay, I'm going to jump in the water. And hope that piranhas don't get me. You better just keep watching. If the piranhas don't get me, I will be able to get ashore up here. And then from here, it's a relatively short distance back to the ship, and I can get back to the flooded caves. Again, I'm almost dead, but hopefully I'll stay alive enough uh, to get back to the ship, and back to the caves, and back to the raft, and all that silliness. The only reason I have to go back to the ship is for a replacement for my blackjack when it's already kind of too late for me to need it. It's kind of kind of amusing, but I want to keep running into all oh, these bloody rocks have enormous hitboxes, which is not great. Now, uh, the Dark Engine did... They did have plans, they've got partial code for having uh, collision objects. Oh, look on the left there, you get the, the weird texture of stuff that happens when it uh, clips the uh, polygons. All right, which way was it to the boat? Maybe this one? What was I saying? Oh yeah, that's the partial code for having... Uh, the objects are basically BSP objects, right? Um, Now, in modern New Dark, they're not rendered that way, generally speaking. I guess some of them might be. Transparent objects might still need to be. Oop. But, um... There's partial code for having BSP... Um, collisions on objects. So that, for example, you could have... You could be colliding against the actual faces of the object. Now again, they use because of the era it was in. Oh, the shark's here too. I haven't noticed that. Guess I got lucky on my way out. Well, I got unlucky hurting myself on the boat, but then I got lucky not swimming into a shark. All right, we're well, back aboard the Dark Sparrow. Still, someone. Is that shark munching on someone? It looks like it is. Munching on something. Turtle, maybe. I forgot what I was saying. I'm sure it was vital. <laughs> I'm just gonna... So back here, you know I said, oh, these would be excellent blackjack replacement, but I couldn't prop them. Apparently one of them is supposed to be probable. Like, there's a lot of belaying pins just rolling around the ship for some reason. 
Ah. That specific one. Alright, fine. Should have done that a long time ago. But I saw, you know, I looked at I looked at uh, three of them and they weren't they weren't they were clearly not the thing I needed because I couldn't use them. So uh, unfortunately the level design is uh, they should have all been equally probable. That shouldn't be solid. Alright, well shark is gone, we can get ashore. Let's go this way. For variety's sake. Okay, I've got my belaying pin. All we've got to do is get back to the raft. Shouldn't be too difficult there now. Oh, that's the wrong wrong turn. Test my blame pin out, but you know, I don't need to knock anybody out. I can be stealthy. Although, you know what? I actually forget stealth. There's a scumbar, we just got a raid. Oh, he's gonna hit me with a. Uh... You'll have to do better than that. All right. Where's my flash bombs then? He's got a big uh, beer jug. That's what it means. Okay, well, now we can give a dance. Right, that's why you got dances. There are so many. That's one of the piranhas. Is there any valuables here? I don't think so, right? I think I looked for valuables already and concluded there weren't any. But, you know, I had to come and hear the Monkey Island music one more time. And you know what? Let's also cut down the pirate flag. I don't have any red arrows. Maybe cutting down the pirate flag is going to be harder than I anticipated. One more try. Wasn't a jump, that doesn't count. Oh, well, whatever. No valuables, pirate flag gets to live. I could blow it up with a fire arrow actually. There we go. And they just do not care, they're just so happy dancing out. Alright. Uh Where was I? Oh yes, heading back, heading back. Trying to, hoping to avoid the piranhas. Yeah, this way. After having stolen all the treasure of the pirates I could find, I probably missed some. Um, slain all the dragonflies of the island. And then... This one? Yeah. Stolen uh, the raft from, well, it was the Greengrocer's husband, right? That built the raft. Oh! I mean, ignore the fact that they're kind of vanishing in front of my eyes. Maybe they, maybe I'm just hallucinating food now, actually. It's very weird. Oh well. I need the food, but I guess I could just try and end the mission instead. 
Go back to the raft and uh, sail away. If I can make it across without getting eaten alive, that's always the question. And we'll try and stay low, try and go straight up to the hole, just there. Look down behind these guys. Alright, success. Now I just remember which way out of here was the raft, but it's nearby, because of course this is where I've started. Oh, we've just got... Oh, I've got to get to the other side of this this fellow, right? This patrolling fellow. Because it came from there. He's just not back yet. Oh, there he is. So I need to go up there and to the left. You know, I think he's giving me enough trouble. Maybe I'll just give him a knock on the head too. And... and we can just... Uh, have one less pirate to be bothered about. I don't know exactly when he turns around, and sneaking around him is always a little difficult in that cave. And especially now that he's been highly alerted, it'll be actually harder yet. Alright, so me noting down where all these red stones were on the map is irrelevant. They're just weird red stones that this island has. And they're not part of any kind of puzzle or system or anything. Which I thought they would be. Alright. Let's see if we can take this raft away. So long, suckers. Okay. How much loot did I miss? Oh, I didn't even notice it's the treasure chest. Uh, well, I missed 300. That's, that's alright. 280. And found the one secret. Okay. Well, that's cool. Let's on to the next part of our pirate journey. You never have enough gold to so find at least 800. Okay, I'll... Loot goals are getting lower and lower. I mean, oh, this is the ghost ship where we're going to find the stone key. Right, so we're not yet at the island. I was about to say, if we're going to find this treasure, then 800 isn't really very much. You need the sea chart showing the position of the treasure isle. Yes, actually, that's a good point. The treasure map shows us where the treasure is on the island, but it doesn't show us where the island is. Find it and steal it. There's a special stone needed to open the treasure cave. Find it and steal it too. When you found everything, go back to your raft and get out of here. Now, again, I'm assuming that, uh... Oh. Yeah, okay, we've just got a new set of equipment. I was going to say, did everything carry over? Um, we have very few water arrows, but that's not because of what we used last time. We have nine fire arrows, and I did not have ten last time. So we're armed and dangerous. All right, let's check our turn. Uh, um, finally arrived. Yes, yes. Take a look. Okay, the Cursed Island. I arrived at the boat here near the spot where the Black Raven is supposed to have sunk. Now I understand why people call it the Cursed Island. It really is a bleak spot. Hopefully I'll soon find the wreck and be able to locate the stone that opens the treasure cave. Wow, noisy, noisy shingle beach here. Oh. Is that the wreck of the ship? Until now, nobody left this island alive. So what makes you believe there's been there's a cut and there's a map? Uh slightly strange uh, wording, but yeah, what makes me believe there's a map? Good question. So is this the wreck of the Black Rape? No, this is the Night Balkan. Different ship. Oh. 
It's Murray! Oh no, this is just an ordinary skull. <sighs> I've got another deck to check out there, but we can probably just get there down uh, down this ladder instead. Alright, jump over the thing. Oh, do it. Nothing on this deck at all? A barrel. Plate? Is that a plate? Maybe it's uh, some kind of sea growth. Sea. Sea. Sea enemy. You know. Oh, that's the sharks, or the piranhas. The piranhas, I guess, are river enemies. Okay, so that's not the ship. I mean, that would have been too easy, right? It's like, oh, sail up down, here's the wreck of the ship that we need. Even Garrett's not so silly as to believe that's. Oh, anything's ever that easy. Shit, we've got snakes. Snakes and a barrack, and I don't want to be fighting snakes that I can barely see. Are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Well, this could be bad. Kind of hard to hit, too. I don't think that's good at all. I can't hit them and they just bite me just so easily. I'm unhappy about that. I want to check out the skeleton. Let's, uh... Always diary more specifically. Where did Hunt take a stupid bubbly about the wreck of the Black Raven? This cursed island. We had underestimated the currents, the rudder all of a sudden wasn't working, and the ship ran aground. Now we are stuck here. There isn't even drinkable water. What are these strange creatures? How are we supposed to survive here? The captain and the rest of the crew went ahead with trying to find the Black Raven and the treasure. What do I care for the treasure? I can't eat gold. I just stayed home. Oh, he's already skeletonized? This is... they got here before me? Oh, the barrack knows I'm here. And the snakes are around here too, right? Well, oh, let's leave them all behind. Yeah, this, those snakes are terrible. I thought that bite would be like doing like one damage or something, but no, they do a whole lot of damage. And you can't hit them with a sword, and they take multiple arrows that are really hard to hit. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna have to look out. They're also really hard to see, so. Oh, shit, we've got a barrack patrolling this way. I'm not staying in the right light. Poison swamps, huh? Everybody has time to write in the jungle. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a snake. <coughs> That's just terrible. Couldn't even see it. Where the hell is it? I might even... I'm very tempted to just mod those snakes out. <sighs> to just edit the mission. You know I'm going to do it, because I don't think they're any fun. Okay. Yes, it's technically cheating, but... If I can't see these things, and I can't hit them, and they take multiple arrows and they take such a huge chunk of my health every time they bite me like what three bites maybe four and i'm dead just on an expert it'd be like two bites it's like 
does more damage than bloody barrack gas does. At least I can see barracks. So, I haven't got rid of the snakes. Or I did just take off their, uh, you know, I'm now immune to their poison basically. I took off their damage. Oh, here he comes. Hello, snake. <clears throat> no? <clears throat> oh, it didn't work. <clears throat> well, alright then. If it's not going to work anyway, I guess I just need to be really careful about seeing them. They're really long, and of course that's... That being long doesn't help, because most of them is not going to be part of where you can hit with arrows. I could fire arrow at them and wait to wake the barracks up, which is a bit ridiculous. Actually, Mr. Barrack is going the other way. Alright, I guess I'm gonna be safe scumming them instead. Not, not really a... Very good. Okay, I can see the snake there, right? I can't aim this bloody crossbow for shit. You know what? That's a what arrow, that's not gonna do it. No. What did I say about not being able to aim this bloody crossbow for shit? I am liking the mission, but I'm not liking this aspect of it one bit one bit. Where does this go then? It was going to low, so aim slightly higher. Get on the damn thing. I brought more barracks. Oh, uh, what? Is that another snake? Did it just bring another snake? Bloody hell. That's ridiculous. I've only got nine, five, well, eight FI arrows now. There's, there's two more snakes there. I think. Or maybe, maybe it's just the one. So I saw one on the left as well. I couldn't hit that one from this range with that crossbow. Well, lots of saves coming. It's not like I've got any healing potions either for the bloody things. The thirst is killing. What is this disgusting brew? The stench is foul, but maybe you can still drink it? Those weird creatures drink it after all. I just watched them do it. Well, I'll just try it. It's better than dying of thirst. Can I see that other snake? Yeah, it's over there. But it's not sitting still unlike this one. Oh, he's trying to climb out of the bit. I expect this is toxic. That's a lot of noisy ground. Oh, snake. It's a snake. It's not a badger. There are mushrooms. Burrick, 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 burrick. Mushroom, mushroom. That's, that's this mission, I think. Well, wait for them to calm down again. Some of them don't seem to have a sneaky friend. 
Oh, it's a big barrack. Now, I like barracks. I might have to uh, knock them out, perhaps, but I'm going to try and avoid killing them if I can. Alright, so... How are we doing? Seven, seven snake deaths left. Well, I can see why nobody came back alive. It's just like, with all these snakes, I'm surprised anybody even made it this far. How am I going to deal with this guy except running past him? Maybe I just... Maybe I just do run past everybody. Just Levi Jenkins the shit out of this island. So how did the snake see me from that far away as well? It's kind of obscene. Big Barrack is definitely a risk for spotting me. He's upset. It's also quite bright here and every time I move I get lit up. What have we got up ahead? Cave off the left. Okay, Big Barrack is guarding some kind of stone, which I would like, but... Can't see any snakes. So that's the good news. Also, moving is hard, because the rocks... It's unclear where you can move and where you can't. I'm going to have to go around what's that guy's uh, path there. It does seem like they're not re reacting to loud footsteps at least. So, uh, I guess I'm happy about that. Any snakes there? I don't want to suddenly find myself dying from behind. Did, did I see something in front of him? I thought I had, but now I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's spiders there. Okay, spiders are fine. Well, I mean, not really, but... I can't stand the spiders, but that's not the same as them being really hard to play with. So what was it I see? What was I seeing here? I saw something on the ground that wasn't a mushroom. Yeah, it's in the plant there. Okay. Oh. Moss arrows, okay. So these bushes are hiding stuff sometimes. I need to pay attention. I'm going to wait till this guy's not coming towards me. Because I don't want two of them looking my way in case everything goes south. Does that one have anything in it? No, it doesn't look like it. Right, let's... Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Glad I didn't have to slaughter you. Spiders, on the other hand, I will happily slaughter. Again, 
if I can aim at them. Well, at least I'm not wasting arrows when they miss. Well, except when I am, I suppose. Wow, they're super fast. Did the other one see me? That was a big one too. So at least I'm not wasting arrows, except of course it's the blade of rock. Which he's just got stuck on. Which I'm about to clang against my sword, probably. Because I couldn't see, because you know, I thought I was shooting past the rock, but the rock's hitbox is so big that it wasn't. That's definitely a, uh, I would say, a misstep in the design of this mission. It is having having the hitbox on rock be so big. You can make it smaller and it should have been done, but never mind. There is gold here! Gold! It's just lying around! I don't care about the treasure anymore, the gold nuggets are enough! The others can go ahead, but I will take this gold. Hopefully there'll be more of it in the cave. Uh-huh, there's gold and there's the creatures defending the gold. See, that spider only did like one hit point, maybe two. I mean, yes, okay, the snakes are, snakes are poisonous, but uh, also bloody impossible to see. And bloody impossible to hit. And their attack radius is huge. It's, it's like, okay, I didn't manage to patch them out, but their attack radius is six. Right? They strike two meters away. Speaking of snakes. Are you Murray? No, I'm just not skill. Alright, how many snakes left? We got six more snakes. I really shouldn't waste fire arrows on them because the problem is I just can't reliably hit them with anything else and they see me and get to me too easily. Where am I going in these caves? Well, we've got uh, pools of poison and some jumping to do over there. What about this way? Baby spider, that's all right. Except that I can't bloody see them. Again, sorry, can't bloody aim this thing. Wasting an arrow is not a big deal. Nothing over there. Guess I don't want to fall in. Pretty sure that would be deadly. Gold. Gold nuggets lying on the ground. Apart from all the snakes and spiders, it's like a pirate's dream come true. <coughs> See, he was nowhere near me. But he's snakes and spiders. It was just nowhere near me, and it, it hit me, and I don't have any healing. Spider that heard the noise there over that way, so let's let's let them in, do their investigations and try and stay out of the way. Didn't even see the snake till it was already biting me. Oh, is this is this where I would have come if I'd done the jumping. But there's another pirate dead over there, so let's go investigate them. Or, or drown, drown in poison gases.
No snakes. More gold. Healing potion. Alright. Oh, I need that now. Oh, he's got two healing potions. That's very kind. And some money. And a bedroll, which I guess he's not going to need. Nice hat, though. It's amazing. He's skeletonized without even losing his hat. Bam! So this is the end. I slipped when I took my last jump and apparently broke my leg, so I can't go on. My men just left me here. They think only of the gold is just lying around everywhere. My ship lies on the bottom of the sea, so no matter what happens, nobody, neither my crew nor myself, will get back alive. Surviving on this cursed island is impossible. A good thing that I didn't give in at home when my son was begging me to bring him along on this treasure hunt. I blame myself for telling him so much about Captain Bloodraven, the Black Raven, and the Treasure Island. I just hope he won't start searching for it when he's a man. That would be his downfall, just like it has brought about my end now. I was so sure that I'd be hanged in one of those pretty harbour towns. But now we will end here. Which is Captain Hunt's dad? Oh, so all these these okay, so this isn't the same pirates. This is this is Captain Hunt Senior and his crew that came here. Right, right. I thought they were getting skeletonized awfully quick, but that makes a lot more sense. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay, he says as he falls, but that's It's better than getting stuck on the edge. Okay, now I'm now I'm somewhat alive. No idea how. I can see where they're going, okay. But I can't see where I'm aiming with this bloody thing. No snakes? Okay, that might be the spider that heard me before. That's a baby spider too. I saw his dead mummy, he's unhappy. At least I managed not to hit the rocks with these arrows. Bad. A lot more gold lying around. And more skulls. Well, we found plenty of gold. I mean, you know, apart from the whole not leaving the island alive bit, this expedition is reasonably successful so far. Saving frequently because I just don't know when I'm going to next have a snake turn up which I don't see until it starts biting me half to death. Wait, isn't this where I turned off? It is, this is where I came from. Oh no, it's not. Okay, this might be where I. No, so this isn't where I turned off, so what's down this way then? Ah, oh, this is where I turned off. Right, this goes to where I've already been. Jumping puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Wow, these caves are confusing. It's almost like they're uh, just natural formations that aren't designed for Garrett to find his way around easily. seeing any snakes at the moment. I'm seeing more spiders. Two more little th two more little ones. I think one of them heard that and is coming this way.
just coming this way anyway. Well, I read the last island of dragonflies, and that was preemptively. I'm going to read this as one of uh, spiders, I guess. It's funny. I find these spider models a little bit creepy, but less so than the uh, than the stock ones. All right, save. Case of snakes and snake related accidents. Still, so far, this mission is kind of a low point. I'm not really doing any sneaking, not doing any proper looting. Okay, so we've got a passageway here. Let's stay out. let's come back to that. Let's see where these spider caves lead. Oh, more passageways that way. Well, do I know where I want to go north or east? I don't. Alright, let's try north. I thought the cave extended more, but now there's another noisy passageway on this very uh, snake camouflaging ground. That's no sneak. It's a burrick, but snakes and burricks have coexisted before and may do so now as well. Not sure what moss arrows are supposed to be good for. Someone gets seen here. Stay quiet, Garrett. They can't smell you. They can only smell themselves. See any snakes around, but I don't know for sure. Aren't they cute? Oh, the problem is they might kind of be stuck. Oh, no, right. Sometimes when you got big objects like that, yeah, it's uh, they can't see any snakes. It says, "Look at that! Look at that bastard!" Yeah. Snake's dead. The sound didn't come from over here. They shouldn't be investigating me, but they'll be investigating for some more time, I guess. I mean, it was a big explosion. It's an exciting sound. Got to agree. Or 
Well, that's still gonna be pretty excited for a while. I might be noisy, but I'm just gonna get out of here as quickly as I can, I think. It's gonna be better than trying to finesse my way past them. Okay. Not a beach. Are there any snakes? Doesn't look like it. We can go for a swim. Who knows, maybe one of the pirates tried to swim out this way. What do you know? There's something. Old treasure chest. Without any treasure in it? Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? At least there's no sharks. I'm sure there's no treasure left in it, all around it. Yeah. Maybe it never had any treasure. Maybe it was just an ordinary chest. Just an old sea chest. The sea chest full of sea. It's spilled open and that's why this that's why the sea is here. That kids is how the ocean was formed. Alright, well we've got more of this island to explore. But that is gonna happen next episode, I guess. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.